I'd like to review some of the new functionality in the collage. This uh, capability of TDO is undergoing rapid change. We're changing it almost uh, daily. And I'd like to keep you abreast of uh, where we're going with this so you have some sense of uh, the direction. Uh, this will be the latest version that I have, 12.246. So this functionality that I'm going to review today uh, is in that version, 12.246. So if you open up TDO, uh, this is how I typically have TDO configured on my desktop. I have the image organizer on the bottom, uh, the acquire page in the on the right and then your treatment page typically is up here and because we have multiple windows every time you click on a window um, it comes to the surface so nothing uh, if you have a 4k monitor this is a very efficient way to work so double clicking on the image organizer let's just take uh, a, a simple uh, example first i'll pick the pre-op and um, a post-op And let's go up to the collage and go to publish. So what I'd like to do is first just review the interface with you so you get a sense of um, what all these panels are. If I double click on uh, the collage, it comes full screen. So on the left is you have the all of your historical collages that you've made and using your scroll button you can scroll through them. In a later video, I'll outline the search function so that you can uh, find other collages by, by name, or date, or title. Then you have your canvas, this big black area here. And it, this is all resizable. So if I go down to the bottom border, I can resize that and bring up the functionality on the, in the lower row here. I can resize it here as well. So it's a completely resizable form. I'm going to resize it large for right now. <clears throat> so let's go over just the basic uh, interface here. On the left you have all your prior collages with a search function and then at the top you have collage, add image, add text, and apply template. So in the collage function, you can set your background. You can select the size of uh, the canvas that you want. If you select snap to grid, that uh, makes it easier to position things. You can remove the borders on the images, or you can clear all of the images. You can add an image. This is from anywhere on your computer. You can select. And in the text, this is where a lot of the changes are going on now. We're going to remove the free text and we're going to do a real text format. And uh, I'll be reviewing that. That gives you a lot of functionality with the text on your slides. And then you have your, or your template function where you can select how these pictures will go in um, and then in a future version we'll have you be able to make your custom templates and, and have some saved templates as well but the existing templates here are enough to at least get you get you started <clears throat> so that that's the interface then on the bottom you have the ability to publish uh, you can email to any email in your uh, any email that you have. You can post it to TDO Clinical directly. You can post it to TDO University. You can add uh, attachments if you have some literature that you want to attach. You can save uh, your collage to uh, libraries or lectures, or you can post it to your Facebook. It allows you to put your message here as well as the subject. And when you actually publish it, it'll also let you uh, save uh, a link so that you can um, attach that uh, to another email. 
it allows you to embed the images should you want to embed them. <laughs> so that's basically the interface. And uh, in the next video, we'll actually create some slides.